So does anyone else have another question? Not related to Hill House. I have a question. Is that now? Oh my god, that's not great. I have a question, Steve. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know you... I'm so glad you're here. Why do you keep lying to these people? <laughs> what? I'm saying, why did you charge these people $30 a head to sit here and listen to you talk about things that you don't believe? <laughs> Nellie, we can talk about this after the read. No. I'd like you to answer me now. Now you stand there and you talk about ghosts and spirits and you sell tickets for the privilege and yet you don't believe in any of it. No. And you tell me I'm crazy and that mom was crazy and Luke's crazy and we're all just nuts. And then you tell our stories, my stories, the same stories that you told me were just dreams or delusions. We can talk about this later. And you're supposed to be my big brother. You know, you're supposed to protect me. But you say the meanest things to me when I try to tell you. And then you make so much money. No. I'm just asking why. I don't ask you for anything, ever. Just this. I just want to know why. What the fuck, Nell? It was a fair question. This is my work. At this place, think of it as my office. I'm at work right now. You don't come in here and embarrass me like that. Me embarrass Shh, you? Jesus. Have you read what you wrote about You've us? You've had six years to file a complaint. Why the hell are you doing this now? Huh? Are you off your meds? No. Bullshit. I've seen all the faces with you. The Christian phase, the New Age phase, the crystal phase, the antidepressant phase. You don't get to just start smashing up our lives because you're transitioning into a new treatment now. <sighs> this was not He's the time place. Just okay, so what just happened to him is about my worst nightmare. I've done stuff where I need to speak in public and it's never nice if you... You know, the thought of my, one of my family marching in when I was in the middle of that and going, right, now we're going to have a to-do <laughs> in front of everybody, I would die. And I would probably act just as poorly as Stephen did. And I would expect once I'd calmed down, once it was understood that I was under pressure, I would take responsibility for those actions because that's appalling. And I mean, she does have a point. I don't think it's just about the fact that he's earned the money from the story, it's that there is a hypocrisy to what he's doing, in that he considers himself superior to the other kids, because he has seemingly come out of this thing unscathed, while well, they're all falling apart and they've got all these issues, whether it's addiction or he considers Nell to, to be like unhinged um so he's got that on the one hand and on the other hand he's quite willing to sell the kinds of ideas that he thinks come from kind of damaged people do you know what i mean it's like he's milking he's milking a kind of poison teat it's an unfortunate metaphor But that made me both sad and it made me angry. It made me sad to get just how hurt Nell is by being disbelieved in the same way that Luke is, in the same way several of them are really. And it hurt me to have Stephen's reaction be to shout at her. But you know what you're gonna do this episode i've got to say is kicking my ass it's absolutely kicking my ass i don't know where the hell is going next I, I drove to ojai and, and i called him out in front of all of his little fans you should have seen his face do you think that was yeah. constructive <laughs> no 
but it's, like, it's long-term constructive. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to be honest with me. Yes, I'm taking my meds. You're not. And I'm standing up for myself. For the first time. And in... ever. You know, this was never about confronting Stephen or your other siblings. The problem is that you haven't confronted your past. How can a house, just a collection of bricks and wood and glass, have that much power over people? You haven't seen this house, buddy. You have You've never been there. This house. Well, that's true. But see, neither of you, not for a long, long time. And I oh, think that if you were to look at it today, after all these years, empty in the woods, you'd find it's not a monster. It's barely even a house. Damn it. She's got a couple of stars. Yeah. This is the last night. What's wrong with mommy? She was drunk. When? I'll bring her back. But I have to go now. He locked this door behind me. What did you mean? Mommy looked hurt. She fell on the floor. Where? We were in the red room having a tea party with Abdel and mommy. How? The red room's locked. That wasn't mommy. Wait, this is... Just realised that's the room that she came back into when um, she missed Stephen's call. Oh, she's doing this. Oh, uh, the pan. Breathe, make a fist. Oh my gosh. Pause. It has taken me this long to realise that was how she was when Stephen saw her in his place. Remember, she was going like. Mm, mm. Play. Oh my god! Look at him! What are you doing? I found her. Is she okay? She's okay now. It's okay, honey. I called them. I'm sorry. I'm speechless. I can't fucking believe he's just walked in. When the little hands on the two and the, the big hands on the twelve, she should be here, okay? Two o'clock. You hold on to this. Tap as well. I'll try to be back here as soon as I can, okay? Okay, Daddy. How are your brother and sisters doing? I wondered since the book. I'm sorry. Uh, it's Nell. Um, I need you to call me. It's hard to understand everything, so 
twisted and it's hard to explain, but call me. This is such a mess. Where's the light moving? Where's the light moving? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that's the time passing. Oh my god. She's losing time. They did that so well. There's nothing wrong with going at night. Um, yes, there fucking is. I don't even want to see a carcass in the woods in the middle of the night. <sighs> I'm, I'm not ready. Pause. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pause it. I'm nearly out of juice. And I cannot get through the end of this fucking episode with an empty glass. Oh my god. I don't want to see this at all. I'm absolutely fucking... I'm genuinely actually afraid <laughs> actually afraid <sighs> god i love this show play i'm i'm, I'm gonna drive to orlando uh, and get a flight to la you, 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 he's closest you go to him <sighs> there's the fucking porch light